number sets. So in math, you run into numerous sets of numbers that you use for particular applications. Now a set, as you hear, see on the right hand side, is just a collection of items under a certain characteristic where we can define that characteristic. Now, we don't have to just talk about number sets. Okay, so you can talk about any set. Okay, so I can arbitrarily come along and say, well, I want to have a set, which means a collection of items that contains, for instance, these particular colors. Okay, so here is my set. And the set, so as we define it, so sometimes we would write, instead of just writing equals, which is for equations, for sets, okay, so this typically means is defined. And a collection of items, unlike writing out numerical calculations, we use the braces to put in and I will arbitrarily say, well, this is my set of, let's say, red, blue, and yellow. And that's my set. So anyone who comes in says, okay, well, you defined this color set by red, blue, and yellow. And you can do the same with many sets, okay? So this is my set, let's say, of colors but you could have just as easily came along and said, well, you know what, I want, you know, the t-shirts the that I have, okay? And you can write down a set of all the t-shirts that you have, for instance, in your closet. So we create these sets for convenience so that we can use it, not just in math, but in many other applications. Um, however, in math, the fundamental number sets with with a particular characteristic are the following. It's the natural numbers. And natural numbers we typically okay, write out with a capital N. Okay, then whole numbers, so we would write with a capital W. Integers, now integers actually for most part, okay, so it's written with a capital Z, but it may also be written with a capital I. And that just depends on whoever is defining that set. So those two are common. Um, I probably would be a little bit more uh, understandable because it's I for integer, uh, but very often for integers, we may use capital Z. For rational numbers, since we kind of run out of letters, we use the symbol Q. For irrational numbers, we use the Q, but we put a little bar over it, and that little bar just means not rational. And then finally, real numbers, or the real set, is designated with a capital R. Now, you may see this in many different formats okay, throughout math, depending on who is writing them, but this is pretty much the fundamental sets that you may run into. So that's all I wanted to say in this introductory video for number sets. Okay, and in the other videos, we will go one by one through all the different sets so that you can see what happens. Thank you for watching.